Hi folks, it's Evil here from Thunder Miss Lure Company and welcome to today's cooking edition of Thunder Miss Fishing Tips. And today what I'd like to do folks is share a very simple recipe on how to grill striped bass, otherwise known as striper. We're going to use two to three simple ingredients that you probably have at home already and uh, this recipe is simple but the results are outstanding. First thing we have to do is prepare our fillets and that's very important. I'll show you how that's done. So what I have here are two really nice chunks of striper and I like to cut them in chunks and freeze them in chunks uh, because it's a lot of fish and this way you get enough just for um, a meal. So you can see this, you see this dark meat on here. That's a dark muscle meat and it's just on the layer of the fish. You can see some more on this chunk here as well. A little bit of dark muscle meat there and a little bit there as well. What you're going to want to do is take your knife and just go under the skin or under the flesh just so ever so slightly and remove that dark muscle meat and you'll see what's below. You see the nice white uh, meat below. That's what you want to do. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to, I'm going to remove this dark muscle meat and I'm going to remove that dark muscle meat and that dark muscle meat and be right back. All right. So now I want you to see there's a beautiful, nice white chunk of striper right there. Absolutely perfect. And this one, I've removed the top layer, but you can see here along the lateral line, there's still more. And for that, you need to just V in just a little bit. So just take your knife and just cut down just ever so slightly on both sides, just like that. And then what will happen is you can just lift it right out, just like so. There we go. And the reason you want to remove that dark muscle meat is because it has a real strong fishy taste to it. And if there's any contaminants, they have a tendency to get hung up uh, in that dark muscle meat. So what I have now are two absolutely gorgeous chunks of striper. And what I'm going to do now is get them ready for the grill. Okay, now we're going to just dress these stripers up. And just again, before we do, that part that I just did, preparing the fillet, very, very important to remove that dark muscle meat. It makes a world of difference. Okay, now here's how simple this is. Very, very easy. Get some uh, olive oil. You could use virgin olive oil or regular olive oil. If you don't have olive oil, you could use uh, vegetable oil. But olive oil is the best and just uh, brush a little bit of olive oil around the fillets and do it on both sides. So we're going to flip it and we're going to also put some more olive oil on this side here. And don't be shy. It's okay if it runs off a little bit. You want to make sure that you've got some uh, coating around the entire fillet. Okay. And a little more. There we go. Perfect. Now, we take a little bit of lemon pepper and I'm going to use here, I've got some salt free lemon pepper. So uh, this one has no salt in it and I'm going to take this lemon pepper and just sprinkle it on the fillet on both of them and I'm going to do it on both sides. Flip it and do the same thing on the other side. Okay. A little more lemon pepper. Perfect. Now, you can let that sit for five minutes or ten minutes or you can put it right on the grill. I'm going to let it sit for five minutes, make our way to the grill. We're going to grill this up. I've got some salt because that's unsalted. I'm going to put the salt on after. Let's go to the grill. It's time to put them on the grill. I've had the grill preheating and of course I've got it cleaned. So what I like to do is just give it a little spray with some, I'm going to use some olive oil spray, but again, you could use vegetable oil just to prepare the grates a bit. So just give it a little shot. It's just going to help with the sticking a bit. Then with your spatula, take your filet right on the grill. Just like so. All right. Now you can cook it with the lid down if you like or you can cook it with the lid open. I'm going to cook it with the lid open so I can keep an eye on it. And uh, what will happen is I'm only going to flip these once. And depending on your grill, it takes a few minutes per side and depending on the thickness of, uh, of the striper fillet that you're cooking. But you'll, you'll be able to see when it starts to get opaque, uh, white, a very white opaque color on the bottom. 
that's when you're going to want to fill, uh, flip it. So we're going to wait for that right now. Give it a couple of minutes. I'll be right back. Okay, I just want to show you here now. You could see if you look on the bottom of this fillet, you could see how it's starting to get white and opaque. It's different color from the from the main fillet uh, on top here. So it's it's almost ready. But I'm going to let that that whiteness come up about halfway, and then that's when I'm going to flip it. But you can see that it's starting to form that little bit of white along the bottom and so it needs another minute or two. Okay the bottoms are nice and white about oh, about halfway up so I'm going to now just slide the spatula underneath the fillet and give it a flip. Look at that beautiful color already. Same thing to this one. Give it a flip. Oh it's coming good. It's coming good folks. Okay we're gonna do the same thing now. We're gonna give it a few minutes on this side and, uh, and then take them off the grill. Okay, it's starting to look like it's coming right to perfection. You can notice the uh, when the fillets start to crack and you can actually see inside the cracks when it starts to cook and you see that nice white color on throughout the fillet. These are now ready. You don't want to overcook them, that's for sure. Let's take them off. Oh, oh boy, these are looking, these are looking really good, folks. Look at this. Okay, now. <laughs> I used unsalted lemon pepper. So now I'm gonna add a little bit of salt because uh, it was unsalted. So I'm just gonna add a bit of salt to uh, each filet. And then of course, you know, I have to do a sample. And what I like to do, if you like lemon, Get yourself some lemon. I personally like to have a little bit of lemon. So uh, squeeze a little bit of lemon on top. I mean, you already have the lemon pepper, so you have that lemon flavor, but I like to add just a little bit, just like so. And uh, that now to me is just ready for, ready for the table. Look at, look at this nice chunky filet. That's a beautiful firm filet. And you could use this recipe with any firm fish it'll all cook the same and it'll all be delicious. You can't believe how good this is. Striper is delicious to begin with and grilled fantastic. You know what? Sometimes the simpler the recipe the better the fish. Give this recipe a try. You will not be disappointed. It is absolutely excellent. Serve it with a side, uh, side dish of rice or in a vegetable or if you want with some fries, as you wish, but it'll make a great meal. It's gonna make a great meal for me. It'll make a great meal for you as well. I wanna thank you ever so much for tuning in to today's cooking edition of Thunderous Fishing Tips. And as always, folks, until next time, good luck and good fishing.